Apparently there is a grow your own human steaks meal kit uh, that is not technically cannibalism, makers say. I'm going to hit the highlights on this. We had posted this on the Facebook page. A DIY meal kit for growing steaks made from human cells was recently nominated for Design of the Year by London-based Design Museum. Wow, that's a <clears throat> killer name. Named the uh, Our Burrow Steak uh, after the circular symbol of a snake eating itself tail first. The hypothetical kit would come with everyone who needs to use their own cells to grow miniature human meat steaks. Uh, people think of eating them oneself as cannibalism, which technically it is not. Uh, Grace Knight, one of the designers, told Zine Magazine. Uh, you can't buy these. Uh, uh, that <clears throat> leads me to believe that there's yes. a few there's a few organizations that still need to uh, to properly vet this. But I, I don't I, I still don't get it. What do you like swab your mouth and throw it in a petri dish and then grow a fucking fillet? Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's that's that's, that's gonna, probably the way it works. Wow. Wow. Really? Uh, if let's just say, OK, this happens. It's approved. You can buy them uh, at a reasonably discounted rate. Do you get them? <laughs> um, I man, dude, I I, there's a there's an old comedian's joke that's like, you know, I, I don't want to try human meat because what if I like it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I do. I don't know. Maybe. May okay. Okay. All right. Let's maybe like Jeffrey Dahmer doesn't exist if he just gets to try it. Maybe he was just like, hmm, I wonder what a nice fleshy piece of ass steak tastes like. But he didn't have the grow your own meat Petri dish. <laughs> and so he, <laughs> if he did, he could be like, ah, hmm, shit's kind of salty. Never mind. And then you just saved the lives of uh, 40 wayward hobos uh, that did not get dissolved in a vat of acid in his living room. So um, I'd like to try it. Yes, yes. Curiosity's got me, man. And plus, it's me. It's not like I'm eating you. I'm eating me. I would know what, what I taste like. So, yeah, out of pure curiosity, I feel like I'd want to at least try it once in my life. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you, I, you absolutely have to. I don't see why why you wouldn't quite frankly like <laughs> it seems like a fucking no-brainer to me <laughs> but i think more importantly we've we've glossed over the most important fact here is that pre pre fucking dissemination of covid vaccine we already have the cure for the zombie apocalypse we just grow mm -hmm. fucking human meat steaks and then we throw them to the zombies <laughs> if we need to fucking so, a alan really we're at the pinnacle of humanity, and we're only going down from here. <laughs> so you're saying that lab-grown human steak meat is the cure for zombie apocalypse because we can then quell their thirst for human flesh. Correct. Yeah. God and then I would think either just eliminate them altogether or fall into using zombies as slaves and then the society crumbles anyway but for a time being we pause the madness that is zombie apocalypse by just hugging them human sticks or perhaps a cult of some sort in the uh, russian yukon Ooh. i could see that with zombies yeah sure like yeah, do we have like just zombie corrals yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah you could have a whole like separate you could have two societies much like the uh the uh, Wakanda in Black Panther, where like there's some that live by the traditional values and the the highlands, and then the others that live by the technological values in the lowlands, and the technological folks just help uh, create the meat to provide to the working class of the uh, the highlands. I like this cult idea with the human lab grown meat. Are you going to try some, Wes? If we uh, can get our hands on a petri dish, I, I have no problems with it. I have no problems with growing. That. Listen, I've eaten. I mean, you figure the, the shit that I've put in my body. It's not that like exotic stuff, but uh, but scrapple and sausage and snail, escargot, uh, oysters, things of that nature. No, I mean some sort of odd. As I just, it was a shot in the dark that I said I I rub a cotton swab in my mouth and have a petri dish grow a, a New York strip, and you guys were like, "Oh, yep, that's it. That's how it happens." Like if a New York strip appears in a petri dish, I'm assuming 
something that's three times the size of a normal petri dish that can house a new york strip if that's what grows just based on cotton swabbing hell yeah i'll cook that fucker up with butter and rosemary and garlic i think and i'll enjoy it i think if you guys do it it's a perryville strip which i think is significantly less fancy uh but yeah you son of a meat. Bitch. meat right meats meat so <laughs> perryville strip yeah. we gotta cook that with we gotta cook that with backyard wild onion and crisco <laughs> yeah i was gonna say that, was like that, that, that delicacy that a5 perryville strip <laughs> <laughs> US USDA kind of certified. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, but at the end of the day, like it does show you how far we've we've kind of like progressed from a biotech standpoint that you know we could this company could be throwing their hat in the ring to help solve the global pandemic, but instead they're trying to find a novelty way for you to be able to eat yourself. <laughs> so you know, when you've got throwaway technology this advanced, I'd say civilization is just, just doing pretty darn well for itself. It, I, I have read that once we get to a point where, where we are at about, and we, not uh, any certain, just human race, not uh, not them or they or anybody else, but, but we, uh, once we get to about 13 billion, it's going to be very difficult to feed everyone without, all, you know, some sort of alternative measures. I've heard insects. So... Here's my point. If insects are going to be the new protein, you have a, a pile of insects and then a filet that comes from your DNA. What are you eating? I'm eating the insects. Oh, fucking I mean, bullshit. Really? Dude, I've had, um, I've had mealworms. They're pretty good. They're like, uh, they're like, I don't know, they're like, they're like gritty Fritos. Yeah. Gritty yeah. Fritos. Now, I'm not a big insect guy, so I'd probably go with human meat. Uh, well, faux human meat. Fo, uh, fo- no, it's not faux. That's the thing. It's 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 actual well, it's tofu. Uh, fo 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 man meat. Uh, no, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I would. I think I would have to go with it because I just don't like insects. Just why can't we cotton swab fucking chickens and and cows and grow the same thing? Why can't we uh, do that? Because we already have those. We just kill them. <laughs> nobody see the problem is nobody like it's frowned upon to kill humans, and you know. <laughs> presumably, I, presumably our meat's delicious. Uh, I don't know this for a fact, but presumably our meat's delicious because we get, we don't want to kill each other for food, so we have other animals that we do that for. But science has brought us to a place, like Burr said, where we can find out what we taste like and then, you know, decide from there. And then ultimately stop zombies. That's really The cool. only – the problem with this, Wes, is that it, I think you – after three months, I think you only have like a single bite, so it takes a long time for this shit to get where it's like a viable oh, meal. Okay, yeah. So like, <laughs> if you put your if you put your little cell in the uh, in the petri dish, like in three months, you're gonna have like a fork full. So like six months to grow a full steak. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I don't have that kind of patience. I'll just go down to the butcher, <laughs> get myself a fucking porterhouse. <laughs> That's not how it happens when there's 13 billion people on Earth. (laughs) I'm hoping to be dead before we get to 13 billion. What are we at? Seven point, uh, like seven and a half billion? I think something like that. I think yeah. I think we might have. We may have broken eight by now. Okay. Damn Chinese. (laughs) It was. It was three. It was three when I was in elementary school. So. To do the no math. way. Maybe to, yeah. Globally, it was only three billion when, when you were in elementary school. Yeah, Kindergarten, yeah. it was like four. It was it was four when I was in like second or third grade. So maybe three, like pre-elementary, four. It's okay. I mean, God. think about that. We've gotten almost fifty percent. I, I need another fifty percent. And yeah, like I'm how, gonna get to age how, where I'm not when, playing. When did you say? What's that? Like, when did you say? How like when you were how old? Ninety two ish. Yeah, I mean ninety two. There was. Five point four billion. Five. They lied to me. These fucking people. My elementary school teachers were lying to me. No, it's just our it's our Cecil County fucking school books that were thirty years behind. They, they, were, they were eating those Perryville strips. Yeah, and we're at like, and we're at seven point eight right now. Seven point eight. God. All right. <clears throat> if it gets close yeah. to, uh, if it gets close to thirteen, uh, and you guys see me 
face down in the lake somewhere. Don't don't worry. Now, if it gets close to thirteen, <laughs> we're fucking we're piling up all of our human stakes and hopping on a SpaceX missile to fucking <laughs> Mars, bitches. <laughs> Just we'll, need you to know that. We'll show Elon the the, the podcast. Like, look, we t- we believed you. We talked about you. <laughs> we'll, we'll be like, look, Timothy Oliphant's here. He's definitely going to fucking ruin it for everyone. Take t- take heed. <laughs> <laughs> Take and by the way, if I find you face down in a stream, it's going to be some delicious Perryville strips for all. Yeah, Perryville strips. <laughs> it's, do, do we ain't invited? 